The Magic School Bus at the Waterworks by Joanna Cole, illustrated by Bruce Deegan. Our class really has bad luck. This year we got Miss Frizzle, the strangest teacher in school. We don't mind Miss Frizzle's strange dresses or her strange shoes. It's the way she acts that really gets us. Miss Frizzle makes us grow green mold on old pieces of bread. She makes us build clay models of garbage dumps, draw diagrams of plants and animals, and read five science books a week. Other classes go on trips to the zoo or even the circus. Guess where we went on our class trip? To the waterworks. And to get ready for the trip, Miss Frizzle made us spend a whole month in the library. We had to find out exactly how our city gets its water, down to the last drop. We also had to collect 10 interesting facts about water. Water fact number one, about two thirds of your body is made up of water. Water fact number two, water is the only substance that is found in the form of a liquid, a solid, and a gas in nature. In the parking lot, the old school bus was waiting. To our surprise, there was no bus driver. Instead, the frizz herself was behind the wheel. At the end of the block, the bus went into a dark tunnel. When we came out, something amazing had happened. The bus looked a lot different. We looked different too. Everyone was wearing a scuba diving outfit, even Miss Frizzle. Water fact number three. There is water in the air you are breathing. You can't see it because it is in the form of an invisible gas called water vapor. When water evaporates, it changes from a liquid to a gas and rises into the air. Miss Frizzle was the only one who didn't seem to notice the change. She just drove on. In the middle of a bridge, the bus started to rise into the air. It went right up into a cloud. Then Miss Frizzle did the weirdest thing ever. She told everybody to get out of the bus. The kids didn't want to go, but Frizzle threatened to give extra homework if we didn't. Some kids stuck their heads out of the cloud and looked down. There were mountains down there, and the cloud was going higher every minute. It was getting colder, too. All around us, drops of water began to form. And as the drops got bigger, we got smaller. Water fact number four. Clouds are water. The higher up you go, the colder the air is. When water vapor rises, the cold air makes the vapor form droplets, which hang in the air as a mist. This is a cloud. Before long, each kid was the size of a raindrop. In fact, each kid was in a raindrop. The drops began to fall. Miss Frizzle's class was raining. We fell into a clear mountain stream and began flowing down the mountainside. Water fact number five. Did you know that all the water on Earth is used over and over? Here's how it happens. Water evaporates from lakes, rivers, and oceans and forms clouds in the sky. Then it returns to Earth, again as rain or snow. This process is called the water cycle. In no time, we reached the reservoir that holds water for our city. We were going into the water purification system. This class trip was not so boring after all. Some water words. A reservoir is a place where water is stored. When you purify water, you clean it. The water in the reservoir was pretty dirty. We were covered with dirt and mud. Follow me to the mixing basin, shouted Miss Frizzle. In the mixing basin, a clumping substance called alum was added to the water. The alum formed globs, and all the dirt and mud stuck to the globs. On to the settling basin, ordered the frizz. There the globs sank to the bottom, and the clean water flowed off the top. Now we were on our way to the filter. Water fact number six. Less than 1% of all the water on Earth is fresh water that we can drink. The rest is salty water in the oceans or frozen water in glaciers or ice caps. This was the sand and gravel filter that takes out any impurities still in the water. We were impurities, so we couldn't get through. Luckily, Miss Frizzle showed us a special way around the filter. When the water came out of the filter, it was sparkling clean. Still another water word. Impurities are dirt, dust, and disease germs. Anything that should not be in a glass of water. Water fact number seven. Clear water is not always clean water. It may still contain disease germs that can make you sick. In the pipe from the filter to a storage tank, a chemical called chlorine was added to the water. Chlorine kills any remaining disease germs. 
A trace of fluoride was also added to keep kids from getting so many cavities. The water had come all the way through the purification system. We thought our class trip was over, but Frizzle had other ideas. Everybody into the storage tank, she shouted. Before we knew what was happening, we were whooshed out of the tank and into a pipe that carries water to our city. Water fact number eight. The first pipes in North America were made of hollowed out logs. Today's pipes are made of concrete, metal, and even plastic. Then we went into water mains, the pipes that run under the city streets. A smaller pipe carried us to a building. We went up into the pipes in the walls. Water fact number nine. Water pressure is usually so strong you can't keep water from coming out of an open faucet with your finger, no matter how hard you press. When a seventh grader turned on a faucet in the girls' bathroom, we came splashing out. The building was our school. We were back. We were our regular size again. We were dressed in normal clothes again. Except for Miss Frizzle, of course. Water fact number 10. For every gallon used, the average city loses more than two cups of water through leaks. Back in the classroom, Miss Frizzle acted as if nothing strange had happened. She started feeding the class lizard and she put us to work right away. We had to make a chart showing how water gets to the homes and buildings in our city. When Aaron drew a picture of a kid inside a raindrop, Miss Frizzle said, where do you get these crazy ideas, Arnold? Here is how our water chart turned out. Later that day, we saw the old bus in the school parking lot. How did that get there? Did we only imagine going through the water supply system? Would we ever find out what really happened? Miss Frizzle says we'll be studying volcanoes next. This makes us all feel a little nervous. After all, with a teacher like Miss Frizzle, anything can happen. The end.